Scott here with the UA Lawn Care. I want to talk to you guys today about choosing your clients wisely. Um, I've been in the business for a number of years now, uh, lawn care business for over uh, 10 years, um, and I've uh, owned my own business for the past three and a half years. Um, I've ran, uh, I have ran uh, lawn care businesses in the past for other uh, companies I work for, um, mainly small, uh, indiv in individually owned uh, companies, um, family oriented companies. So I have a good idea how to deal with customers, uh, how to relate to people, how to um, ask for the sale. So, how do you choose your clients wisely? Your goal is not to just take everybody that calls you. You want to be very specific to the point of who you're looking for. You might have a desire in your marketing plan, in your business plan, to focus on properties or houses in the area from 5,000 square feet up to 10,000 square feet in certain areas of town so you're not just driving around town and wasting gas. Um, you might have a minimum for yard cleanups, let's say $200. So if it's a 10,000 square foot yard with um, a couple inches worth of uh, leaves or um, debris throughout the yard, you're gonna charge a minimum of $200 for that yard cleanup. Another, th another thing you might wanna consider uh, for a minimum is $35 a mow, meaning that once you go to that yard, the minimum you're gonna charge for a 5,000 square foot yard is $35. Then if you're uh, in the uh, fertilizer business and you're going to go drive to a certain neighborhood, certain house between the square foot of 5,000 to 10,000 for 5,000, you might charge $40 for spraying the yard, putting the fertilizer down. Now for the 10,000, you might charge $60 plus tax, depending on where you live. So you have a minimum, you're choosing your clients wisely based on the criteria that you're looking for. Because you wanna be at a house for a certain period of time, you're looking to uh, build based on how long it's gonna take that person to go out there and service the yard. You might um, figure that you need $40 a man hour or $50 a man hour, depending on how big the yard is, what your minimums are, and what numbers that you, you have come up with. Um, you don't want someone pulling your string, pushing your buttons in a wrong way where you become uneasy and you don't want to do business with those people anymore. You want to have a client who you want to choose your client wisely because you get into the business to enjoy uh, t taking care of people's yards, going out and servicing people, um, going out and showing them that you really enjoy doing the lawn care business, hardscapes, softscapes, or whatever uh, area of the lawn care you're in. Um, you might When you're networking, you're very clear and concise in how, what, what kind of customers you're looking for. When you network with people, when you um, meet someone new, you tell them what, how you can help them. Very clear and concise every single time, so they have no I, no other way, but saying, "Yeah, you're my lawn guy." I, I fit that description. It's not always about having a bad feeling and saying, oh, well, that guy, that guy's probably going to rip me off. That guy's not going to pay me. You know, you, you can choose 
your clients wisely by a gut feeling, but the I think my point in choosing your clients wisely are fit in a certain criteria so you're growing your business and it fits the mold of your business. And you have that niche. You, you separate yourself uh, from your market. So if you uh, like this video, give it the big thumbs up. Uh, follow us on Instagram and uh, Google Plus. Um, and uh, subscribe to YouTube. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, if you have any other ideas for videos, uh, let us know as well. Thanks again.